What's up guys, this is Eddie Man Hack with Make Digital Art and today I'm going to show you how to make or add a glow effect in Krita. First thing we're going to want to do, open up Krita, create a new file, put in your width, height, your resolution, then go over to the content tab and I'll make my background color black. By default this is white, I just change it to black here, then I hit create. First I'll cover how to add glow using the blur tool. So create your drawing or for my example, what I'm going to do is import a drawing I've already completed. So to do that, we're going to go to the top left toolbar, click layer. Then I'm going to go to import slash export, then click import layer. That'll allow me to import the file with the drawing that I want. So I'm going to click that drawing, import it in. And then first thing we're going to do, head over to the layer panels on the right. And we're going to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to hit the duplicate button over here. Then what we're going to do is go back to the original layer underneath the duplicate that was just created. And I'm going to go back to the toolbar up top on the left, click on filter, then we're going to go to blur, Gaussian blur. And this will give you a pop up with a slider. And this slider is what's going to create our glow effect for us. So we're going to increase that. And as you can see, we now have our glow. So if this helped you out so far, like the video, please helps out a lot. Thanks. Then. If you guys want, what we're going to do now is learn how to change the color of the glow. So to do that, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn off the visibility for the top layer over here in the layers panel. Again, we're going to click this little eyeball icon, click that. And what we're going to do now is undo the blur so that we can change the color. So we're going to hit control Z to do that. Now, what we're going to want to do still on this layer, all the way on the right in the layers panel, you're going to see this little grid icon. Click that and that'll alpha lock your layer. Basically all that means is now when I draw on this layer, all it's going to do is make sure that I can only draw on the layer and not on the background. So you'll see here that it paints on the character, but not on the black background. So we're going to do film the character. And basically this is the color of the glow that you're now going to apply. So change this color to whatever you want. So for example, I'm using green, but if you'd like to change the color to something else, head up here in the toolbar to the color blocks, click on them and pick whatever color you want. I'm going to be using the screen, but you can choose whatever color you'd like. Then continue fill in the character. And this will be the glow that our character now has or the drawing now has. And you want to make sure that you do this neatly and paint over only the parts that you want to have that color glow. So now that we're done, we're going to unlock the alpha in the layers panel on the right. And then we're going to make our top layer visible again, but keep this bottom layer selected so we can apply the blur again. So we're going to go back again, apply the blur, click on filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and now we're going to increase the blur again. And as you can see, we've now changed the color of the glow from red to this green. Don't forget to like the video. Now, using this technique we just used to change the color of the glow, I'm going to show you how to add glow to drawings that use multiple colors. So to do that, I'm going to go to file, up at the top, hit open, open our other drawing. Same setup, we've got the black background, but now the drawing has multiple colors in it. So you're going to see how that affects the glow. Now what we're going to do, same thing before, we're going to duplicate the drawing. Go to the one underneath. And now since this is a group and not a flat layer, what we're going to have to do is merge the group or flatten the layer. So to do that, I'm going to right click on the layer and I'm going to click merge group, or you can use the shortcut here, control V. So now that it's merged, we can use the same technique we used before. Go to the top left toolbar, click filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now when we do that, you're going to see the problem. So now there's multiple different colors in the glow going on using this blur. So you have peach by the skin, you've got blue by the boots, you've got green by the backpack, you've got yellow by the sword. So we're going to use our technique that we use to change the color in order to make this all one uniform glow. So we're going to hit undo to undo the blur. Then all we're going to do on the right side of the layers panel, alpha lock the layer and we're going to paint in the color of the glow we want. So I'm going to go up here to the top of the color blocks and pick the color. I'm going to make it a kind of a red. Use that. 
and just paint in the layer. And remember, if you don't turn off the visibility for the top layer, you're not going to be able to see your color changes. So just turn that off. And now I'm going to color this in. Just like we did before. And bam. Now we're going to unlock the layer in the right. Then we're going to go to filter on the top toolbar, go to blur again, Gaussian blur. And now when we increase it, now you can see there's one even glow across the whole character, even though the drawing uses multiple colors. Now, the final thing I'm going to show you guys is how to make only certain parts of the drawing glow in case you wanted to do something like that. For example, here, if I want the sword to glow or the backpack to glow, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So what we're going to do is hit control Z to undo. And we're going to actually delete this duplicate layer. Go back to the original. And you can see that this one is still a group since I didn't flatten it. And I've already got each of these parts separated. So for example, if you want separate things to go like the sword or the backpack, you have to make sure that they're on their own layers for this to work. So all you're going to do is use the same technique we've learned to make the whole thing glow just only on those layers. So for example, I have the layer here, sword highlights and backpack. If I just duplicate those layers, then go to the one underneath, just like we've been doing this whole time, go back to the top toolbar, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I just increase the blur. You'll see that now only the sword is glowing and we can do the same thing with the backpack. Duplicate, go to the bottom one, Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and bam. Now you guys know how to make everything glow in Krita. Again, please like the video, share, and subscribe if you're into more content like this. Thanks so much.